All right. Solving trigonometric equations involving factoring. So in this video, we will solve the following equation with single angle where sine ratio is put to the power of 2. So I want you to understand that sine squared it is not the same as sine x squared. For example, sine x squared is very different from sine squared x. Sine squared, sine squared x simply means that the entire sine ratio is squared. Sine x squared represents the case where the argument x is squared. So this is something for you to remember. So we did the substitution here. We let y is equal to sine x, and now you have 3y squared minus 8y minus 3 is equal to 0. So seemingly simple quadratic equation. So by factoring, we can see that the product is equal to negative 9. How do I know that? First coefficient 3 times negative 3. The middle term coefficient is negative 8, so sum is equal to negative 8. So quickly, two numbers that multiply to negative 1. Negative 1 and 9 could be a good proposition. However, the sum is negative 8, so you have to switch the sign. So negative 9 and positive 1. Having said that, we will now replace the middle term. So 3y squared minus 9y plus y. Take away 3 is equal to 0. Now we have four terms in total. We'll group them in two. So the first group could be this one here, the second group, the one here. Okay, so take out common factors. So this is 3y, y minus 3 plus y minus 3. Then you see that y minus 3 is common for both. So y minus 3 now is being take up, taken out. So I go with 3y plus 1 into the second component, and I have this. All right, so y is equal to 3, or y is equal to negative 1 third. But this is now the solution to the question, to the problem forgot to add the domain is 0 to 2 pi. This is what we need to know. X is element of that interval. Okay, so sine x must be equal to 3 or sine x must be equal to negative 1 over 3. We'll quickly reject, so no solutions here, since the maximum value for sine is 1, so it's impossible for sine x to obtain attain value of 3. The second solution, so sine x is equal to negative 1 over 3. This time there's no special angle value that will be involved here. So simply resolve to your calculator. So sine inverse of negative 1 over 3 will give you the x. Over here, you have to be really aware of the following. Sine negative is in the second, no, sorry, fourth and third quadrant. So you're either going to be here somewhere 
or you will end up in quadrant number four. So from your calculator, you may get x is equal to zero point. If you use your calculator, you're going to see negative zero point three three nine eight three six but you don't want to do that you want to rather present the solution in terms of positive values of radian so rather than showing that negative angle you will show pi plus 0 0.339836 and this is equivalent to 3 Point four one four eight one four four decimal places is sufficient. The second one in the fourth quadrant, so you can go two pi minus zero point three three nine eight three six, and you're going to end up with five point nine four three three. So there you go. The solution to the equation is this value of x and that one here. So thank you very much for your attention. The next video will show solving trigonometric equation involving quadratic formula. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.